Good. Yeah. All right, you are on Collider Live. Who That's we got right now? Sound bite. How you doing? This is Jamal B. Castro from Chula Vista. Hello, yeah, Jamal. Yeah, Chula Vista. Good Jamal, if you, tacos. If you, if you would be so kind to turn your uh, computer down, my friend. What's going on? Um, my question is, in your opinion, what would you think if the next Indiana Jones movie, Indiana Jones 5, was going to be a Logan-style Indiana Jones movie? It's interesting. Ah. Thanks for the call, Jamal. Um, I, still, my, my, I still like to cross my fingers and hope that what they do, the way that they can actually turn it into a franchise, is to have very similar to what they did the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. Mm -hmm. What was it? Who was mm -hmm. it? Who, Riley? Who played I'd Young like Indiana Jones? Sean Patrick Flannery. Yeah. When they did this one episode to where you, Indiana Jones, Harrison Ford was had this whole mission in the beginning, of like the snowy forest, and then he flashed back and saw himself as a younger mm -hmm. Indiana Jones. I think that they could do something like that in this movie, and they could recast. Him as a younger guy, whether it's you know the easy version of like Pratt or Bradley Cooper, whoever it is, but having Harrison Ford have his adventure, but then flashing back to it, I think similar to what they were going to do with Die Hard Year One, which is unnecessary, um, but to do it with Indiana Jones because then you can start a franchise with that person if the audience accepts them because they, yes. they wanted to do Shia LaBeouf and everyone was like, no thank that you, did not work no out. thank you, but that's also the movie's fault. Absolutely, the way that they pitched him it wasn't. It wasn't. I mean, Charlie was a great actor. Just there are some movies where he stinks, mm -hmm. and that one was one of them. But but you're, like you said, it wasn't his fault. Right. Um, but I think that if they did it that way, I think to me that would be what I want to see. Not necessarily just him, just old by himself. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I I think if it, because. You know, obviously, Indiana Jones Crystal Skull is my. Yeah, it's not we good. We do not speak of that movie. Yeah. It's not good. Still, I can't believe how highly rated it is on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, it's bonkers to me. Uh, that left such a sour taste in my mouth that yeah. I just want to remember the first trilogy. And if they expand and like jump on and create a new franchise with somebody that's already like an established star, I'm not super psyched about. It. I wouldn't mind getting like maybe a smaller name TV star to can we make the franchise their own instead of like, well, Pratt's already got. Two friggin' giant franchises. Yeah. Yeah. Bradley Cooper already in so much. Like, give me maybe like a somebody that is an up and coming that could be that charming Indiana Jones yeah. that isn't it's not easy. Like a Henry yeah. Cavill in Man of Steel, where he was not a huge, uh, right. He was not super well known, totally. right? But it's it just I would rather them do something like The Mummy, where they just make a not an Indiana Jones movie. Like I would just rather them make another old school adventure like movie. adventure mm -hmm. movie like that's what I'm craving that doesn't well, have to do with the franchise we just got Tomb Raider which has those kinds of vibes yeah. to it the way that they actually adapted it was this time good? it was it was okay it was fine. yeah it was I it was think fine. yeah that's the f word i would use it yeah. was fine with the, something like indiana jones i feel like i have such a sour taste in my mouth as yeah. well from the last one and then on top of that it doesn't help that we keep talking about it and it never happens right. i feel like that makes it worse the idea of bringing logan into the equation definitely piques my interest right. not because necessarily i want to see you know, Harrison Ford being old man Logan by himself. But I just like the idea of doing something completely different tonally. I think that's the way to get me back what in. What year does it take place then? It would take place in like the 60s or 70s? It's got it, right? Hey, so there's some your mic's uh, not actual working, new... Bradley, right, what did you working? do to your mic? Yeah, yeah. The mic's not working. Is it off? Is it off? Try that. Here. Yeah. Try it this. was off. And oh, I there you go. No, there you Hold go. Hold on. Uh, How about now? There you go. There there you go. go. Uh, actually, some people on Twitter just sent me a making Star Wars. So Scoop? let's classify mm -hmm. this as a rumor because it does have to do with next in Indiana, in Indiana Jones. Spit it out, boy. One is that we have Dan Fogelman uh, saying that he's coming in uh, to rewrite the script. Okay. Now, this yeah. is the guy that did uh, Life Itself, right? Life Itself. No, Fogelman no. is the bigger yeah. no, no, no. Right? no, let me find it. That's him. That's yeah, him. Logan, yeah. Cars and this is us, writer. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Perry doesn't like this. And that, <laughs> but John Kasdan and again, making Star Wars, they're yeah. pretty good. No, they usually get a lot of their stuff right. Yeah. Um, I'm classifying this as a rumor for mm -hmm. now, though. Just so you know, saying guys. that Fogelman's coming in to retouch the script. That's that's the big correct. Scoop. That's the big scoop. However, my sources itself, believe yeah. that the premise is the same one in Kasdan's script, uh, which, which had uh, short round returning. Interesting. Uh, and that there was a train that was filled with Nazi gold and masterpieces that was then dug in tunnels by the Nazis and hidden. And that, like would, that. that would be revolving well, you know around what's good about, I'll tell you what's good about that, because you can get Nazis. a lot of those old Nazis on the run yeah. that come back. Yeah. And Indy's at his best when he's fighting Nazis. Because remember, totally. they yeah. went to the, the Russians yeah. in uh, Crystal terrible. Skull, and then right. it's like, you know, it's like Indiana yeah. Jones... 
goes with Nazis like peanut butter and jelly. They you do. know, yeah, it's just that's, that's what he does. Listen, yeah, don't do, sell they Kalima gonna, Shakti Day short though. That's true. Are they going to bring Karen Allen back, but like her original role and not the crappy role she did the last <laughs> movie? Uh, let Probably me check. Not. This or article she's not does just not annoying, say. Nagging what is so weird. Yeah, not going to happen. Because she's such a badass in the first one. Yeah, well, she comes back. They're married she now. She comes back. Oh, they are married. Is that what happened at the end? At the end of Crystal Skull. Yeah, they got married. I've seen that movie once and I never want to go back. Yeah, I blocked it out. Yeah. It's so stupid. I've revisited a couple times. And, and it gets worse and worse, right? Yeah. It's fine. There's it's moments, but it's you're, overall... You're it's a just... nicer human than I am. 